Hello, my name is Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MPP and a partner and CTO at Canvas. I'm walking through a bunch of the different power apps that we recently created for Microsoft that you're going to find or already will find in the power app sample template gallery. The one I'm showing you right now is the shout outs application. What I'd like to show you in this little video is how you can go create yourself a pop-up box on the same page in a power app and make it look like it's sitting in front of everything else on the screen while you gray out everything behind it. So let me show you what this looks like in practice and then we'll dive into the code. So here's my shout outs app and I can see all the different shout outs that I've sent to other people in my organization. And when I click this little delete icon here for the trash can, it opens up this little light box. As you can see, it grays out the screen behind it. It allows me to either confirm, and yes, I want to delete this shout out, or I can cancel it and not delete it. Either one I click, it's going to get rid of that pop-up and come right back to the screen. So here we can see it again, and then I can cancel it. So how do we go about creating that? This is actually really easy to do in a power app. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to create a group that you're going to put all your controls in that are uh, defining what your pop-up looks like. So in this case, we call it delete confirm underscore one because we already have it on the previous page as well. You'll notice that all the controls that I have in here have their visibility property set to this variable called show delete confirm. I can look at this rectangle, that rectangle, the image that is part of that delete light up box. Every single one of them has the visible property to show delete confirm. So where does that property value come from? Well, this variable called show delete confirm is actually set when we select the trash can image. So first we set which shout out we're going to delete to this item, which is the shout out this gallery is displaying. And then we set the show delete confirm property or pardon me, variable equal to true. When that variable is true, then that is going to toggle showing all these controls. So right here in the editor, I can give this a click and now I've just set show delete confirm variable equal to true. And now we can see all of those controls light up. So now that they're all lit up, I can click on them and I can see exactly which ones they are. For example, there's my trash can image that I use in my pop-up. If we click on the button here, what does the button do? Well, first it's going to remove from the shout out entity in the common data service, the shout out to delete, which is the currently selected item in the gallery. Then we're going to set the number of shout outs to me to a value, the number of shout outs from me to refresh all that for user interface purposes. Now when we're done, we set show delete confirm back to false. If we do cancel, it's much simpler. We just set show delete confirm back to false. So if I click cancel here in the editor, now that variable is false and all those things disappear from the screen. So that's a very simple way that you can go and set yourself a pop-up light box in Power Apps. I'm going to turn it back on one more time to show you something else. If I look at the rectangle here, rectangle 2, 2, notice that it's the bottom of my control tree, which means it's going to appear below everything else. That's why it doesn't cover up the other pieces that are laying on top of it in the middle of the screen. If you look at closer at that one right there, you can see that the fill for this is 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.8. That's how we set the opacity so that this is black, but a little bit of the screen underneath shows through. So that's how you go about creating yourself a lightbox pop-up in PowerApp and a very easy way to do it.